So now we now head to the bottom of the second here in purchase. Where Manhattanville is leading Maritime for the one. We return to the top of the batting order with Matt Lynch as the first pitch from Sheppins is a fastball in the outside corner for ball one. Lynch walked his last time up. Fielder's choice led him to being out when making a move at second. Now the 1 0, swing and a miss on the fastball for strike one. Matt Lynch, he is a grad student and comes from Wappingers Falls, New York. Went to Roy C. Ketchum High School. He was a Mac Freedom Player of the Week back on April 22nd, 2019. As the 1-1 one one is now 2-1. He also won All-MAC Freedom Honorable Mention back in 2018. As a senior, he started all 10 games for Manhattanville last year. And the 1-2 is grounded cleanly over the first. It goes over the head of Russo. So it will be an E3 on Russo as he could not complete the catch. Leaving Lynch safe at first. Just unfortunate for Russo. He's been having himself quite the day with batting. But it does not look like that he's having him quite the same way with fielding. That's already the second error on Maritime in the outfield and the infield today. So now Tabot will be back up to bat. Got on first on error, stole second, and went all the way home his last time up. Sheppins now with the first pitch, and there will be a bunt a uh, attempt that will go behind him foul. Nothing in one. Looks like Tabot is trying to work towards getting Lynch over to second. Lynch does have some great speed and with a bunt that would allow Lynch to get himself quickly into scoring position should the bunt try out. Look to ball also went to Roy C. Ketchum. As the only one is a curveball down the middle for a called strike, nothing in two. Tebolt was third on the team in the shortened season last year with a 361 batting average, where he got a home run and 10 RBIs. The 0-2, and the ball is popped up over the left field. That's going to fall for a base hit. Lynch is going to move over to third. The throw from Mosca is not going to get there in time. And the throw over to second, advancing on the throw was Tebolt, and he makes it successfully. He'll go down as a single with Tebolt advancing to second. And like that, he got a man on second and third for Manhattanville with nobody out. Smart thinking on Tabolt's part. Saw that that ball was hit hard well into the left field. And with the attention that Lynch got by having the ball thrown over the third to try and get him out. That allowed Tabolt to find enough speed to get over the second. Wasn't even a good chance for Shea to try and make the catch and get him out. So now Matero will be back up to bat for Manhattanville. Base hit can bring in Lynch and Tibolt. First pitch will be a foul ball behind him. Nothing in one. Matero, who walked his last time up, made it all the way home. Thanks to a base hit by Mandel. Which was a 2 out 2 RBI, if you recall. Manhattanville has been giving Nick Sheppins a little bit of an early trouble in this game. The 0 1 curveball that hits Matero, and that will put him on base. Which now has the bases loaded with nobody out. And now that sets up a grand opportunity for Anthony Quadrozzi, who walked his last time up. Walk again would make it another run for Manhattanville. Seeing a lot of runs, and yet it's just still the bottom of the second. Let's see what Quadrosi does to add to the pain of Nick Sheppins. First pitch to Quadrosi is a curveball on the outside, ball one. A 
But the Quattrosi, Tyler Mandel, will be up next. It's already been hard enough for Sheffins in the first two innings of Game 2. Now the 1-0. Ball is grounded over to third. It'll be the throw over to home, which gets him out. So on the ground out like that, Maritime is able to avoid allowing a run with one out. So it'll go down as a fielder's choice with Teb with Lynch being called out. So now Tyler Mandel, who had the two out, two RBI single or double in the bottom of the first, will look to try and continue to add damage the same way he did before. And quick time is called. Tyler Mandel usually plays first and third, but in this game he is a designated hitter. First pitch, and he launches it deep over the left field. That's going to fall off the wall for a base hit. He does it again. One run scores. Another one falls through as Tebolt and Matero make a safe lead at home. Quadrosi will stay at third, and it will once again be a two RBI double for Tyler Mandel. He is struck again. 